Are you listening now? Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Hey everybody, it's Joe Hicks and welcome to Your Success. I have a special guest today, Richard Braithwaite. And um, this is a gentleman that is a true entrepreneur and uh, well, I am excited to have him here and I want to talk to him a little bit about his business. Richard, tell me a little bit about you. Well, my name is Richard Braithwaite. My wife, Rita, and I have developed a team, husband-wife team, r and Realty Group under the brokerage of Silver Creek Realty. And uh, I'd say probably after four years because of a back injury, I had to sell my concrete company. My wife was busy in real estate and she'd been doing it off and on for 19 years. And she said, why don't you transition over to me? It'll be a lot easier on your back. And I have to say it was the best move I ever made. My customer service background of 36 years, 2017 was John Deere, and I had a concrete business of 12 years. I met a lot of clients, and it transitioned them to allow those people, love my relationship with them before, and again, I'd say probably 80% of my business is referral. And the advantage of having a husband-wife team is uh, you get to two for the price of one. Uh, <laughs> working with other couples, which we love to do, it seems like one of the other a couple seems to transition to Rita and the other one to me. It could be the husband to, the, to Rita or the wife to me or vice versa, but uh, it just, you build relationships like that and uh, again, people don't forget you. Um, we develop a great team behind us, starting with our title people, our lenders, um, our photographers, our videographers. We kind of uh, brand ourselves with video and that seems to help. Um, even our contractors going through the inspection contingencies, uh, it makes the transition go smooth and we have a lot of fun closing deals and we end up having lifetime friends because of it. It's uh, awesome. What is, you know, this is a market, we're uh, in Boise, Idaho. What type of market is there right now in Boise? Well, as you know, it's probably Boise's voted in the top 10 cities to move in, in the United States, and surprising enough, I get a lot of out-of-state clients coming in who investigated Boise, and and uh, so it's a seller's market right now. Prices are coming up. As the uh, commissioners have said, there's probably an influx of 40,000 people moving in in the next four years, so mm -hmm. we've got 160,000 people. I couldn't ask for a better business to be in to retire into. Hopefully this will go on for another four or five years. Awesome. Awesome. Why do you do what you do? I mean, I, I understand a little bit of it, but you know, again, why are you an entrepreneur? Why are you uh, taking that risk of going out there and doing your own thing? Well, as you know, I have to give God credit. Uh, I got a second chance 12 years in life and I've always believed in the term pay it forward. So uh, I love people. I've been customer service long enough that I uh, like meeting people in my business. I kind of do the listing side and my wife's a little more timid and she loves working with the buyers. So I go out and meet strangers and develop relationships. And uh, again, I've always been under that adage is you'll never know who your next new friend will be. Yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. What gets you up every morning? What what drives you to get out of bed and get going? Huh, again, I guess I have to say uh, I love meeting new people and I have to go, even if it's uh, going to Lowell's or Home Depot or filling up the car or I do a lot of shopping so I can meet people in the line at say Albertsons or Fred. <laughs> I can see, I can see and, that. <laughs> uh, and, and I've always asked people, uh, what do you do so that in turn they'll ask me what, what do you do, what I do and I am I got the ball rolling and I uh, I always made a point, especially in my concrete business and my real estate business, I made a point the last twelve years to hand out at least three to five business cards a day. And you get enough cards and I'll tell you, people won't forget you. If you they they're actually looking for someone to break the ice and, and do the conversation and when you get that rolling People won't forget you, and it might be a year, two years down the road, and someone will come to you and say, I remember you, and put a face to it. I might not remember them, but you do it enough, it pays it forward. Awesome. 
what are your goals? What um, maybe a three, five, ten year goal? What 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 are you and Rita have as a goal set for your business? Well, I'm uh, I'm looking to retire in five years, but I think my wife wants me to go ten. So, uh, <laughs> but my goal is I've never needed much in life, and uh, just to have a nest egg. Uh, uh, and to be able to help our kids, we put three kids through college while we were newlyweds, so that was a big deal. Wow. But just to have enough to help our family, uh, make sure they make it in this tough world. And, uh, you know, with the extra money, <clears throat> I love helping people in need. It's always been a ministry to me. Awesome, awesome. Now, this, is a, this question is an important question for a lot of us, especially as men and women as well, but I think men are more, uh, more focused in on this. What legacy do you want to leave behind? You know what? I think I'd like to be remembered as a kind man who helped his neighbor uh, in time of need, or if anybody asked me for help, I was always the first one to offer it. Wow, that's awesome. That's awesome. And let me ask you this, and this is to all you young entrepreneurs out there, um, what advice would you give to a young entrepreneur? And it could be several things, but what, what would you want to tell a young entrepreneur that is, want to, they either want to start their business or buy a business or be a part of something, what, would you, what, would you, what advice would you give them? I think what worked best for me is that people today are shying away from personal contact with one another, but getting out and meeting people, and it's tough to do at first, but even meeting one new person a day uh, and get that goal up to three to five people a day, new people, goes so much further. And again, if you're in business with business cards, uh, hand out those cards. Uh, make it a goal to hand out three to five a day. It will pay for no matter what business you're in. Awesome. But you've got to meet people. Awesome, awesome. Well, Richard, thank you so much. You're welcome, Jim. Well, thank uh, you for inviting me to this. And I, uh, yeah, absolutely. All right, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Joe Hicks, and to your success. Are you listening? Damn.